Dave Knows How. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to make a quick little safety video. And I'm by far not a safety Sally, safety Nazi, whatever your flavor of term may be. Um, a lot of times I, I do things with safety, <laughs> like not completely over in left field, but it's, you know, I have been known to take some chances. But in today's video, we're going to give a little safety tip. Many times when we're working on our Kubota tractors, doing maintenance and that type of thing, we need to raise the front end loader up so that we can get the hood up and work underneath there because, you know, the loader arm is somewhat in the way and the, the bucket and everything's in the front of the tractor. So it just kind of makes things a little bit more unaccessible when the loader is down. So rather than take the loader off, which is fairly simple to do, um, I typically just like to raise it up in the air out of my way. So here's your safety tip. Let's get the, uh, the first thing I did was I raised this bucket all the way up in the air so that I could get a measurement and we'll, we'll check that out right now. Okay, so we got the bucket all the way up in the air and as I got it all the way up in the air I took a tape measure and I measured from down in here where the um, hydraulic arm rests up to the bottom of here and on mine it measured a little over 20 inches so we got about a little over 20 inches between those two points. I went on and cut me a piece of angle iron and this angle iron is about an eighth, eighth of an inch thick. It's about one, it's one and a half inches this way and one and a half inches this way. So it's a one and a half by one and a half angle iron. I cut it 20 inches long, which is just a little bit shorter than what this different distance is right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some nylon cable ties and we're gonna set this piece of angle iron right inside here like this and put these nylon cable ties right around. Tie one there. I'm gonna tie one right here. And then we're gonna walk around to the other side because we've got one to go on the other side as well. So we'll take a couple cable ties, we'll walk on around. Oh, we got a rock in here. Look at that. All right. So we'll go ahead and set that down in here. And we cut these both the same length. They're both cut 20 inches long. And yours may vary. Yours may be a little different size than what mine is. And we're just going to set that in there and cinch this cable tie down on there. That'll hold this on in place. There's nothing in the bucket. The bucket's empty, so there's no additional weight. And I'm not really so much worried about going on and letting this down. We're pretty much just going to have this thing sitting just like this. We're not going to worry about lowering the bucket down to, you know, get it tight against there or anything like that. If this thing does start coming down, it's probably going to initially start out coming down kind of slow. And the theory is it'll hit this piece of angle iron and it'll stop. It won't go much further than that piece of angle iron. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and relieve the pressure. Just gently move this until it goes right down. And as you'll see now, I have let it down. The tractor's off. I've raised this up and let it down. Now, if the tractor's running and you try to let this down, it's going to be pressure down, and you're going to be putting pressure against here. And that, that would not be good for your pump and your seals and all that kind of stuff. So if you raise it all the way up and put this in there, make sure to turn the tractor off if you want to lower this down so that it butts up against there. To get this back out, we'll start the tractor back up and we'll raise this all the way up and then cut these cable ties and take it out. With this in here, as you can see, you can access 
the entire side of, of this motor. You don't have to worry about this being in the way. You can get right here in front of the tractor and work and um, the loader's pretty much out of the way. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, this is just a quick safety tip. Want to make sure everybody out there gets to maintain their tractor in the safest possible fashion that they can. Didn't take no time. This was scrap metal I had laying around. You know, just cut two pieces 20 inches long. If you don't have any scrap metal laying around, you go to your nearest steel yard, go ahead and measure what yours is. Tell them what you want. Eighth of an inch thick should be more than enough. Uh, one inch by one inch should be plenty big for pretty much most any tractor up to uh, I think the cylinders get a little bit bigger in diameter when you get over 50 horsepower so when you start getting into your larger tractors with with larger cylinders then you'd want to get a little bit wider piece of angle iron instead of using say an inch and a half you might want to use a two inch or an inch and three quarter or something like that um, the one inch, one eighth thick would still probably be plenty thick enough to do this so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you'll stay tuned for more videos as we got plans i got plans i got stuff going on up here i don't know what's going on up here but there's some stuff going on up here so i hope to have some good videos coming very soon so stay tuned don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to comment if you have a comment or suggestion uh, please feel free to leave it below and i hope you guys are having a wonderful summer take care now don't forget to rate comment and subscribe thanks for watching